Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. Today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Rune Dragons and the goal for this one is to receive the Dragon Metal Lump for my collection log, hopefully obtain a lot of Elite Clue Scrolls and of course make as much profit as possible from 1000 kills. Now the gear for this video is a set of full Torva and a Dragon Hunter Lance. I have about 10.7 mil in supplies so I'll be price checking the these items at the very end of 1000 kills to see how much money I spent on them and this is my first time using Torva. It is best in slot here according to the RuneScape wiki so alongside that we have the Dragon Warhammer and a Rune Dragon kill count of 3,431 so we should be ending at 4,431. So initially I was bringing about 20 sharks per inventory here but uh, quickly realized that I only needed about 15 to do a good inventory at the Rune Dragons with this setup. And after a few runs, I also realized that I only needed three prayer potions instead of four. Everything else practically stayed the same though. The construction cape was for banking and you can also switch out the dragon warhammer for dragon claws if you want to go that route. But I just decided with the warhammer since it does lower the rune dragon's defense. I was using protect for magic as well as piety. So that is why I was bringing all the prayer potions and we did get our first elite clue in the very first inventory. This is one in 300 and I will be stacking up all the caskets for the the very end and I'll also be doing the master clues if I'm lucky enough to get any. Now for those of you who have been following the channel for a while now first off thank you and second off you may remember four years ago I did this exact same video and at that current point in time dragon limbs which is a rare from rune dragons were 9 million GP a piece and the drop rate of them is 1 in 800 as shown on screen there and since those four years have passed that 9 mil turned into 1.8 mil. As it goes for the Draconic Visage which is 1 in 8,000 here. That was also 9 mil at the time, and that is down to 3.2 mil. And as it goes for the Dragon Metal Lump, I was unfortunately unable to get it the first time around, so I'm not sure how much money that was four years ago, but nowadays it sits around 723k. And as you can see here on screen, because of those generous prices, I made 63 million GP from 1,000 Rune Dragons. Now, the normal drops four years ago did come out to be 36.5 mil, and because of the rare prices, that gave me an additional 27 mil so all these years later i'm curious just how much money i'll be making from the normal drops after killing a thousand compared to the last price check four years ago and of course the uh, difference in rare prices we'll see how much that adds up to be well we are 70 kills in and there's our second elite clue scroll so that is awesome we'll get that done right away on the side here since rune dragons is so afk i was able to be on two other accounts and you guys should see that video tomorrow night or the night following it and that'll be loot from 10 hours of mining rune ore in the wilderness and i also killed anyone that got in my way so stay tuned for that later on uh this is also going to be a kind of a mini series that i'm doing on my main account with 1000 of rune dragons we're going to be transitioning into 1000 adamant dragons next which call me crazy i actually enjoy killing more than rune dragons and my kill count should be the same if not more and then we're going to be moving on to mithril dragons uh so yeah it should be a pretty exciting week ahead hopefully going to make some good gp prices have changed so so much throughout the last couple years and honestly I don't mind redoing old videos especially because I mean they're just so AFK and laid back and I'm always going for collection log pieces that I'm missing so no matter what even if I have done it before I still need collection log slots and it's always good to make some more GP especially after losing my void waker earlier this week and there's our third elite clue casket as we are now 200 kills into today's video if you guys are curious on how long this took me it roughly took 17 hours of just killing the rune dragons and probably another hour to complete all of the clue scrolls. I was using the total level worlds and it was pretty empty. I think at most there was three people in the room at one time, but for the most part it was just me alone or me with another person, which is just fine. I'd say it's not worth it to stay if there's like four people in the room with you. Rune dragons have definitely been iconic for the last few years, uh, just as a good side money maker. For those out there who are dedicated enough to make an alternate account and also complete Dragon Slayer 2, and not only this, but fund the account with some gear and, of course, a nice weapon. Well, those people are definitely making a consistent two mil an hour if they're just AFKing on the side. So, I mean, that's a bond within four hours. That's just a lot of GP that adds up very quickly. But again, it does take a lot of patience and a decent amount of GP to get a Rune Dragon alt started from start to finish and ready for, you know, AFKing the rest of your life. I personally have never had a Rune Dragon alt, but I can definitely understand 
understand why people do. So if you're looking to get some more clicks in or you just get bored AFKing, you know, and you need GP, this is definitely a great alternative. Otherwise, you have Brutal Black Dragon Alts, which is a little bit more AFK than this and you don't take as much damage. Uh, but you do have to pay attention to the screen more than you probably like to while doing Rune Dragons or at least have some plugin enabled to make you uh, look at the screen when you need to if your HP gets low. I did have two deaths during this video. I'm too ashamed to show them on screen, but that did cost me about 800k. So you got to be careful here. Uh, they do hit pretty high. Even in Torva, I was being hit 30s at times. So, you know, it does have really good defense bonus as well as just this year, but you're still going to be taking some damage. So be on the lookout for that. Getting a nice stack of dragon plate legs as well as dragon plate skirts. That's one and 127. Uh, same goes for the medium helmet. Looks like they were a little more generous with the medium helmet than the uh, plate skirt and legs, but I'll still take it. Looks really nice in the bank there. The drop table here is just incredible. Uh, it's never been updated. It's just only been nerfed. I think right when these came out, they used to drop superior bones, which was one out of three chances, but they did fix that. So you can't get superior bones here anymore, but that was long ago in 2018. Uh, since then, it's just been a really profitable monster to kill, not to mention a great slayer task that can be assigned by Konar, Steve, and Duradel. And of course, if you are such a big fan of rune dragons and your 99 construction, you can build one in your own house for 25 million GP. That is a lot of money for a rune dragon. And I did forget to mention that I actually did go ahead and make ferocious gloves for this video. Otherwise, I was always using barrows, but according to the wiki, they are best in slot, so I did make the investment. Since the best in slot gear for mithril and adamant dragons is the exact same gear that I'm using for this one, I definitely figured it was worth the investment for the glove upgrade. And otherwise, if you want more defense bonus, I would just go with a dragon fire shield. You might not get hit as much compared to if you're using an Avernic, but it's all really just up to you. If you want to get a little bit more kills per hour, some more accuracy, definitely go with the Avernic over the DFS. 800 kills into the video, and I finally have seen my first rare dragon limbs, which is ironically one in 800. And this was around kill count 852. It is not the lump that I was looking for for my collection log, but it is an additional 1.8 mil, which I'll add to the price check. So we still have 150 kills left to go, and we are also up to five elite clue scroll caskets. I do want to say a quick thank you to you guys for watching the 1000 Necromancer video the other day on the Iron Man. I love that you guys enjoy the strange monsters that I occasionally find and upload on. Uh, that's definitely going to be continuing into next month, so stay on the lookout for that. Here we are, 900 kills in. Where is my lump? Still missing it, but you know, still making some decent profit. I mean, the supply cost, no doubt about it, is going to be a decent chunk out of the price check because these potions are just worth so much money these days. But it is worth it to stay potted and stay protected while killing these rune dragons. Well, I gotta be honest, it has been a great couple of days grinding out these rune dragons. I really do find dragons just really enjoyable, no matter what tier they are. But here we are on our last kill. Loot from 1,000 rune dragons has been completed. It is now time for the price check, and then we are going to open up our elite clue scrolls. So let's go ahead and price check all of the drops minus the dragon limbs. We're gonna see just how much we have made from these 1,000, and of course, compare it to the price check four years ago. Well, the overall loot, uh, this is all the normal drops from 1,000 rune dragons does come out to be 35.5 million GP. And if you guys recall from the price check in the beginning of the video from four years ago, that price check was 36.5 mil. So 1 million GP difference on the normal drops. And now it's time for the second price check with the dragon limbs. So we can kind of predict what this is going to be, but the second price check does come out to be 1.8 mil from the one rare that I received. So I made 37.3 mil from 1,000 rune dragons, and now it's time to deduct the supply cost. Supply started at 10.7 mil, and now it looks like they are down to 4.2, but I will round that up to 5 because I did bank some of those potions in another tab. So 5.7 mil spent on supplies, which means I made 31.6 mil profit from 1,000 rune dragons. 1.9 mil an hour. Not too bad. Well, now it's time for the elite clues. Nothing from the first one and 100 noted battle staffs from the second one. That is one in 14,000. I could have got a gilded spade or something cooler. Well, we did get a uh, master clue, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Took no time at all, so we're going to open that after the elites. And to my surprise, a royal scepter, which is also rare. Following that, a rune dragon mask, which is rare and a unique, as well as the gloves. So yeah, didn't expect that. 1.2 mil, not bad at all. So with the master clue loot included. It looks like I made another
another 2.7 mil from the clue scrolls well i think that brings us up to two mil an hour so that is awesome and now it's time to show you guys the rune light loot tracker i'm not sure why one of the bones wasn't shown that's really strange glitch but if you know let me know in the comments below and that is it for now ladies and gentlemen i gotta be honest uh this is awesome i'm really feeling really motivated again and i know you guys have seen this video before but i don't know i just feel like the 1000 series is amazing and i'm so proud to be running it still to this day thank you to you all and thank you to the youtube channel members special shout out to angels blood and matthew stivers you guys are awesome i genuinely mean that thank you and until next time mr no sleep out